Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. Today we have Lico 513, find bottom left tree and value. So let's take a look at this question. So given the root of a binary tree and we turn the leftmost value in the last row of the tree. So in this example, now we know the last row is one and three and the left the most left one is going to be one. So we return one as an integer. But in example two, the last row actually is going to be seven. So we return the last most, I mean, the left most value, which is seven in here. Now, how do we think about this question? It's kind of tricky to think about it because um, it's more like a breakfast search problem. So how do we do it is we were gonna have a queue to keep track of the current uh, row. Now, firstly, we put two, the root node into the queue. So queue is gonna, is data structure that first thing you put in is gonna be first things that will be taken out. And now you have two in the queue and it will process, we take out the prop things in the queue um, to traverse the nodes right side first and put that right side node inside the queue. And so for example in here, firstly we have two in this queue and we take, take out that two and take three and one inside the queue. First to take the right one and then put the left one in there. Why? Because we wanted to have the right one, the left one, which is one here, to be processed at the last time. So in this row, one will be processed in the last time. Now in this case, first we have one and then we take out one and we have three and two in the queue. So now we take out three, take out three, right? And then in three, we take six, we put six and five in the queue. And what we need to do, uh, we have to take, take out the two and put four in the queue. Now we have six take out and we have nothing to put in the queue because we have no child. Now we have five, take out five. We put seven because we have seven later. And four, it seems like four have nothing. So take it out. So now the last one is gonna be seven. So that's the one that we're looking for. Then we found a solution. So this is the logic of um, finding the most left. If something that we need to find as most right, I will show it later. So let's take a look at the code now. First, we have a queue that contain tree node. We say queue like this. So first we put Q, put the root in the queue and check and two to Q, it's not empty. The loop, this while loop, this line is gonna be tricky. Root will be replaced by Q dot pool. We'll keep updating the root um, to be the one that we are processing, uh, the, the one that we're taking out from the queue. So that will update the root to be the latest one, the, actually the last one. So now if root dot right, we go to the right first, not equal to no, not equal to no, then we put Q dot root dot right inside the queue. 
same in the left side, but just different order. Left. Now these two process will, is the same process that we take in here as an example. So after the while loop, we will end up in this case, is which is seven. Now the root will be updated and then now we see the root will be seven. And we know the root is seven, then we return because we require integer. So root dot value will be the output. So that should be it. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's it for this question. So if you have any concern questions, please comment it below. And this is medium question. So in some time, it took me first some time to think about it at the first time. But when we take a look at this, this code again and again, we we'll get used to it. Um, then we'll see you in the next video. Bye.